Brexit, 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 oh my god, I'm going mad. What is this word and why is it all over the place? Are you feeling the same thing? Are you as confused about this Brexit issue which seems to have taken over the world? Well, don't worry. We'll learn today about how you can understand what Brexit means and how you can talk about the Brexit issue in English. <music> And today's lesson is about a very, very important issue that seems to have overtaken the entire world. And the issue is the Brexit issue. That's right. We're going to learn about how one can talk about Brexit in English. Now, if you're confused about this term, let's start with this very term, Brexit. Now, what exactly does Brexit mean? Okay. Don't get so confused because if I break it up, it's actually not that difficult. So Brexit actually stands for Britain, which is United Kingdom, plus exit. Does it make more sense to you now? I'm sure it does. So Britain plus exit together make the word Brexit, meaning they're actually talking about Britain's exit from the European Union, meaning United Kingdom as a country has gone out of the European Union. Now, I really hope you know what the European Union is. It is the union of all the European countries together, forming the European Union together. Now, Britain, meaning United Kingdom, okay, or the UK for short, used to be part of the European Union until about recently. But now it has gone out, meaning it has exited out of the European Union, which is why the issue that we're talking about is called Brexit, meaning Britain's exit from EU or the European Union. So actually, the term in itself is quite simple. But there are a lot of words related to this issue which are slightly tough, but we're going to talk about them. We're going to make them really easy for you. Now, basically, the fact that Britain has walked out of the European Union or broken up with the European Union has become a huge issue because there are certain people who are okay with this and certain people who are so not okay with this. So, well, the next word you may have heard this word before. It's called democracy. Now, what is democracy? Democracy means the people's rule. Okay? Meaning, a country is run in such a way that the people themselves elect their leaders by voting by casting their vote, and then these leaders make decisions for the country and run the country. Okay, so basically, the word democracy is very, very related to Brexit because Britain's exit from the EU was voted upon, meaning every single person in the United Kingdom was asked, are you okay with Brexit? Are you okay with the fact that Britain would leave the European Union? And a vote was taken. And then, once the vote was taken, the majority opinion was that, yes, Britain should exit the European Union. And that's how, based on democracy, Brexit actually happened. Okay? So, democracy is people's rule, where people decide. Moving on, referendum. Okay, a long word, sounds very formal, very political, but it's actually very easy to understand. Now, let's say there's a country, let's call the country X, okay, and we want to change one particular rule in this country called X. So, the process of asking each and every person in the country whether or not we should change this rule is like issuing a referendum. That's right. So, when they were trying to decide whether Britain should walk out of the EU, which is the European Union, 
they obviously asked all the citizens of Britain or United Kingdom whether or not this change should happen. Now, issuing this change was obviously in the hands of the people. So yes, a referendum was issued, meaning a process of asking for people's opinion was started and then of course depending on what the entire country said the decision was that yes Britain is going to walk out of the EU. Moving on the next word now this word is really important it's pronounced as sovereign now remember in the word sovereign the G is silent meaning one does not pronounce this G so the word becomes sovereign and the meaning of sovereign is monarchy or autocratic rule. Now if these words are confusing you, don't get confused because sovereign basically means that the country is ruled by a single ruler and not by the people. So sovereign actually is the exact opposite of democracy which means it's people's rule. Now why is the word sovereign so important in talking about Brexit? Now the reason why majority of people from the UK decided to move out of the European Union is because they wanted the United Kingdom or Great Britain to be a sovereign country, meaning they wanted the rules and the control and the regulations of the country to be, ha to be in the hands of the British people and the British leaders rather than listening to anything that the European Union has to say. Now let's say you're part of a classroom and there is one teacher. You have to listen to the teacher because you're part of the classroom. But if you decide to walk out of that classroom, you can do your own thing. That's exactly what happened over here. Okay, so Britain was part of the European Union. Okay, and obviously it had to listen to a lot of rules that were laid down by the European Union, okay? So obviously because it has left the European Union now, it will become a sovereign country, which means it will make its own rules, own regulations, own policies, and basically be independent. Okay, I hope you got the difference between sovereign and democracy now. Moving on, this word, sounds scary, looks scary, right? It's very easy actually. Plebiscite, okay? Plebiscite. Now, plebiscite actually means the same thing as referendum, okay? So, referendum and plebiscite actually mean the same thing. They are synonyms in English. They mean the process of asking for people's opinion. Okay? So, if I say they have issued a referendum, meaning they have issued a process in which people can express their opinion or cast their vote or say yes or no to the exit. Similarly, I could also say that there's a plebiscite which will allow people to decide whether or not they should be part of the European Union. So that's what it is. Plebiscite and referendum mean actually the same thing. Moving on, the next word, you may have heard or read this word before, racism. Now racism actually means a certain dislike or bias against a particular race of people. Now, in fact, UK have, has been accused of racism because they no longer seem to want to associate with another race or people from other races and they want to become sovereign, okay? 
Similarly, there's a word called xenophobia. Now, this may sound scary, but it's actually very simple to understand. It's actually the dislike for a certain country. Meaning, say there's a country called X, it doesn't like a country called Y. That means the country X is practicing xenophobia. Once again, xenophobia is another accusation towards UK because of their decision to exit the EU. Moving on, a very interesting term, unity ticket. Two words, very easy to understand. Unity means being together and ticket is basically something that gets you entry into some place. Okay, now how do we use these two words, unity ticket, together? Unity ticket actually stands for a group of people who are very powerful and who, who have a particular opinion. Now, let's say there are people who, you know, have a problem against, say, wearing black. Okay, so they will say, okay, let's all get together because all of us don't like the color black. Okay, and then there's another group of people who want to make the color black, you know, very wearable. So these people who are against wearing the color black will get together and form a unity ticket against the color black. That's it. So unity ticket is actually a group of people standing against something. And that's pretty much what happened in the case of Brexit. A group of people actually formed a unity ticket for Brexit and another group of people actually formed a unity ticket against Brexit. Okay. Moving on, the last word. Now, this word actually is not part of the dictionary. It's a slang word. In fact, it has come into being because of the Brexit issue and it's called regrexit. Okay. So it's really very simple. It's a breakup of two words. It's regret plus exit. Now regret is feeling bad about something and exit is moving out of something. So there are a lot of people, especially in the big cities in UK, who are not happy about the fact that Britain has walked out of the European Union. They are regretting the exit, which is why the word regrexit actually comes into play. So, well, that is my list of words about the issue of Brexit. I hope that I have been able to make these words really simple for you. And the next time probably you're sitting in a cafe and people are probably discussing about Brexit, I hope that you're able to have a conversation on this issue in the English language. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed today's lesson and that I have been able to make Brexit a very simple issue for you and that now you will be able to have a conversation about this in English. Well, make sure you subscribe to our channel and keep enjoying our lessons. This is me, Rima, signing out, saying goodbye and take care.